today i have samsung tv power supply uh, this power supply use for 32 inch led tv okay today i will repair this circuit easily and i will give some information about this power supply and i will try to explain this how to repair tv power supply okay and before i starting this video i want to say something about this circuit okay okay uh, this one is ac power input and this is the mosfet the super transformer and this one the drive this main power supply okay this power supply and here is a one oscillator ic and this oscillator ic number is i will explain all this thing how to repair the tp power supply and hopefully you enjoy this video okay let's start first of all connected this power cable in this point is input one information to you and when you work that type of power supply or any power supply and you have to be use series boot because of when you make any short circuit or other thing it can be saved okay power cable connection is complete plug in the ac connector okay first of all i want to check this ac input voltage that is okay not yeah here is a 231 voltage is present and this one this one is the filter capacitor and here is the voltage available or not okay this is the dc voltage here is also voltage input voltage present and ic input voltage and this is the Phone number pin is the BCC voltage and here is any voltage present or not I need to check this before I do anything uh, here is a voltage also present and 100 voltage sometimes it's fluctuating and it's become a uh, 180 and others okay i want to change this meter this meter is also good quality meter there's no problem and i want to check this with this meter okay let's check this after that i will take the digital meter okay this one is the ground and i want to check this input voltage yeah this is hiccuping and it's uh, up up and down because of its it is not outputting any voltage and i need to check this uh, mosfet input voltage is okay or not yeah here is a voltage present 300 voltage and i want to check the gate voltage how is the gate voltage this mosfet but here is no voltage present gate voltage is the main thing to work this mosfet if we get we get the all type of voltage ground voltage drain voltage source voltage it's okay but if we don't get any gate voltage in the mosfet mosfet will be not work and power supply will be not run on okay firstly I, 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 we want to this gate voltage present or not okay let's check again and here is a no voltage present okay this voltage goes from here here is also no voltage available okay unplug the circuit let's check the capacity charge or not yeah. this capacity is charged I need to discharge this capacitor. Discharge and I want to open this MOSFET. That is okay or not? I need to check this. Firstly, here is required is this uh, MOSFET gate voltage and other things is okay. I want to open this.
okay I open this MOSFET and let's check this that is okay or not And this one is drain, and this one is gate. I need to check this circuit diagram. Yeah, this one is drain, gate, and source. Okay, this is the end channel MOSFET. There is no short, and this one is switch short and gate to source. Okay. Sometimes it's become a charge with this, but I am just discharge this. Try to discharging what happened. Yeah, this one is short. Source to gate. Okay, then is open. Uh, here is a no connection with this. Let's keep the power without this MOSFET. What happened? We get the any voltage in this gate or not? And uh, let's check this gate voltage. yeah you can see here is a gate voltage is triggering and this voltage is triggering because of we did not getting any feedback from the output and when i attach the mosfet and the this mosfet when i attach the mosfet and when the voltage is output and i will get some feedback and uh, from through this octocoupler in this ic okay after that this triggering will be stopped because of it's try to open in the power supply but it cannot okay you can see and again it's triggering and triggering without mosfet and this voltage will be triggering and when i attach this mosfet in this place and mosfet place hopefully it will be okay okay let's install a new mosfet this is the good mosfet and this one is damaged okay just i want to show you and what is the difference in this mosfet this one is damaged okay you can see and uh, this one shot with the source and gate and that is okay and this one shot with the gate and source and this one is the good and you can see here is no shot okay this one is good and here is also no shot that means this mosfet is okay now let's install this mosfet with this and now check this input voltage and IC input voltage is hiccuping or not let's check this IC input voltage how is this this one is crown and this one is the IC input voltage and you can see this voltage is standby uh, right now it is not hiccuping okay and again I am checking this okay you can see this is the standby voltage and here is a no hiccuping this voltage okay now I am checking with the digital meter you can understand this easily okay bears you can see this voltage is standby here is a no problem and 350 voltage is in input voltage and this is absolutely okay okay our mosfet installation is complete let's 
give the power in the circuit let's check and let's see what happened here is any output voltage or not yeah our circuit is okay you can see here is a uh, we are getting output voltage and this one is a uh, 75 voltage it's okay okay but now let's check with the digital meter Here is a 75 voltage that means a 76 voltage it's okay there is a 28 voltage i'm getting okay viewers our circuit is okay thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and okay thanks for watching